So welcome to Eggnog. This portion of the net is dedicated to those licensed operators who have a non-licensed person with them and a chance for that non-licensed person to get on the air. And I'm pretty sure I know who the first one's going to be, and his first initial is Alden. KJ7FZP? Hi. KG7FZP with third party Alden. How are you? Better than you were days ago, it sounds like. Yeah, I'm feeling better. Just got out of the hospital up at Dornbecker. I uh, had lung, lung collapse. Hey, Bruce, KJ7 here. I got mom here with me, Grumpy. Stand by, Alden. I think you might be too close. Uh, KJ7MUA, can you copy me? Yes, sir, I hear you just fine, but I can't hear Alden. Oh, you, must, you say you're in the driveway, so you may be too close, but he and I are talking. So uh, I would say run out into the house, but how about just saunter on in there at a slow pace, and uh, I'll get back to Alden there. MUA, back to you. All righty, Alex, thanks. KJ7FCP Alden, we're back to you. Hey, Bruce. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess... Grumpy is in the driveway and should be coming in the door or something. Uh, maybe it was too close to you. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, he was on there and he couldn't hear you. Could you hear him? Yeah, Bruce, this is Sarah, KG7SCP. We can hear each other. They're parked in the driveway uh, until, sounds like Tuesday, before they get a new assignment. So, yeah, we can hear him, but he can't hear us, apparently. Oh, okay, I got you. He's got the whole rig there, so that makes more sense. So, Alden, he had a birthday. You're 11 now? Uh, I'm 10, I'm 10, Bruce. I thought, okay, you were 8 when we started talking. So, yeah, so then plus 2, you're 10 now. We've been talking for two years. Mom thinks I was 7. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Mom says you're 7? Uh, Grumpy says 7. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're 10. <laughs> There you're, that's your parents and your grandma and grandpa. Maybe they're saying they act like you're seven. I'm not sure. But we've been talking for a couple of years, and I was pretty sure you were seven or eight when we started talking. ETK, put me in the green room. I got ETK here in the green. Uh, Alden, you still there? Okay, because I, I clashed with him, and I didn't mean to. Uh, sorry, ETK out there. Uh, that, was my, that was my bad. Yeah, all's good, Alden. So, how about I go see what uh, ETK's got there, Alden? And uh, before you go, though, is your sister uh, there and wanting to talk as well? Yeah, this is KJ7FCP. Uh, Alden's kind of losing wind here. He's uh, letting you know that uh, sister is at a sleepover party tonight for our friends next door. So she won't be here tonight. But we will turn it back over to Net for eggnog to continue on. 73 to everyone. And... Uh, Again, thank you. KJ7FCP, clear. All righty, Sarah and Alden. Thanks for checking in. W7 ATK, welcome to Eggnog. Who you got? I will bet it's a Lily. She's not here, but I was just going to point out the fact that uh, um, she's 11, so that means he's got to be at least 11. I'm going to guess. So, yeah, you know. All righty. So, I, I I don't know. I've, uh, we'll sort it out when we get uh, Alex on here or something. All righty. Have you seven ET in the case? All right. Anybody else out there with an eggnogger? KJ7GFE. KJ7GFE. Eric, you got an eggnogger for us? I do have an eggnogger, and I'll put her on. Hi, this is Erica. Blasted. Uh, blasted in here. Okay, she tried, but she can't quite do it, so we'll let her off the hook. Uh, she's been on the radio before, right? No, I think she came along with me on one of our fox hunts one time, though. I'm assuming she's listening, so I, I don't bite, and, and you know, two-year-olds have managed to, to come on here and do that, as well as 70- and 80-year-olds, so we're nice people. Hi, this is Erica. Thanks for letting me talk. Welcome, Erica. Now we've gotten you on the air. Uh, how was Christmas? Christmas was good. We got to come home to Oregon from California, so that was nice. 
Sometimes that border crossing can be pretty pretty dangerous coming from uh, that country into this one. <laughs> Although, I keep going, when I go to California, I keep wanting to ask them if I'm being detained when I go to the uh, ag station and they stop me, but my YL won't let me ask that question. It's not so bad. I keep my organ plates. My ex-wife had organ plates down there and they pulled her over. Cause, and she's like, well, I don't own the car. So my father does. They didn't care. They made her go get California plates, even though it wasn't her car. We we live on a marine base, so we get away with it, kind of. Oh, no, if you're living on the base, if it's military, then you got an exemption. As long as you don't have a California driver's license. I don't know. It's really weird. California is one of the strange ones. There's a few others. Oh, she had to run. The baby was crying, so we'll have to let her off the hook again. Well, Bruce, I'm going to get off here because I'm pretty sure there's at least one more eggnogger waiting. KJ7 GFE clear. All right. That's uh, two eggnoggers, and we're looking for more. Please come down. This is KJ7 KSS. Bob? Calling CQ, CQ. So, Bob, stand by, and I got one saying CQ, so... The young voice saying CQ, do you have a control operator there? 56, Echo Mike Papa, sorry about that, it's for our first time. No problem, and, and we, we work with it, and uh, it's all good. You guys are second after Bob here, and I'll give you a call here in a minute. So KJ7KSF, Bob, and you've got some third-party traffic there for us? I do, Bruce, I will put her on. Hi, this is Julia. Welcome, Juliet, to Aegon. Well, thank you. I am Eric's other daughter. Uh, gee, that was explained why he was pretty certain there was another eggnoggers. <laughs> are you guys, you guys aren't using the same radio, though, are you? No. All right, so, let's see. So, uh, you're his daughter, so KJ7KSF is his son-in-law? Just guessing. Yes, it is, and it's... His 37th birthday tomorrow. Okay, so it's the holidays and everything, so I might be wrong, but so are you, do you guys live down in uh, Taxifornia as well on the base? No, we don't. We live in Medford. Yeah, I was just wondering, because if he was in the military, 37th birthday is getting pretty close to retirement. He's probably over going, oh, man, I messed up. He's been in 19. He's got 11 more. Uh, in the military? No, he's been working for 19 years and has 11 more in Perth. So is this your, I don't think, I think I've talked to you before, I'm not sure. It's my first time talking. Okay, well, this stuff works really well, especially when we've got this really awesome repeater system. Uh, but it works even when there isn't repeaters around. We just came back from a big trip. A lot of those spots along that trip, we did not have any cell service. And these radios are uh, really nice. And when you, you don't have uh, the ability to call AAA or something if you blow a tire, and you got the radio, you can get a hold of somebody to help out. Yes, they're very handy to have. Since you're third party, you don't have a license. And Eric there tell you all about the class that he went through. And we're starting a new one on the 11th. So are you planning to be in that class? No, I'll have to do the next one. We're going to the cabin. If you've got something to do, you got something to do. We do it twice a year. I'm sure Eric's told you guys all about it. But uh, anyway, it was good to talk to you. And is there, do you have any questions or anything? No, I don't. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Bruce. Uh, we appreciate it. This is KJ7KSS. Back to you, Bruce. Bob, thanks for getting Juliet on the air there. Appreciate it. And to you, Eric, as well. Well, that will go over to Whiskey 6, Echo Mike Papa. And we've got a young man there who's uh, he's coming on on third party. So welcome to Aegon. And what's your name? Okay, I'm getting some key up. So on this system, you got to press the push to talk and hold it for one to two seconds and then say what you're going to say and then let it off. So try that again. My name is Nathan Scott Hoffman. I think you said Nathan uh, Hoffman? Okay, did you say your name was Nathan? Yes. 
guys doubled. Okay, now somebody told me we doubled, so uh, try it out and try it again. We'll we'll get it down here. We'll get it to work. You doubled again, Bruce. You say you got some mic issues. Bruce, stand by. Other station, go. Hi, my name is Nathan. All righty, Nathan, I think is what you said. Welcome to Aegon. Is this your first time on the radio? Yes. Yes. All righty, well, just so you know, it's not always this difficult. Most of the time, it's a whole lot easier. So welcome. And I always ask the first time, how old are you? I'm not sure I caught all of that. Six years old. Okay, six years old, and W6EMP, I think he just needs to talk a little closer to the mic. So show Nathan how to do that. And uh, so what would you like to talk about, Nathan? Hi, my dad dragged me. Hey, that brought the audio up real well, but I didn't quite catch what you said. I'm going to return it back to you guys. Okay, so uh, W6CMP, wherever he had the mic there on the last one, that that was a good spot for him. And uh, just work with him. We'll get him. We'll get him on the air. We do this every month. Very excited when I heard you guys come on doing that. So we'll definitely be better prepared next time. No problem. And I don't have any problem working with it and 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 getting it to work. All right, we've been talking with eggnoggers. So we're looking for any more. Please come now. This is KI7ITJ operating third party. KI7ITJ, I believe you said. I believe that's Jason's call sign. This is Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Uh, KI7ITJ is Jason's call sign, though, right? That's correct, this is KI7ITJ. That's, that's what I thought. So, Jacob, you're a third party. You're an eggnogger. So, welcome to Eggnog, and what do, you, what do you got going on, and how was Christmas? I went to California. You went to California? Wow, I went all the way the other way. I went almost to Washington. Cool. So, was Santa Claus able to find you all the way down in California? Oh, okay, so he didn't have to go looking for you down there. Because, you know, sometimes you you go running around on the holidays and then you got to wait till you get home. But that could be fun, too. So how was New Year's? Well. Right, so somebody was laughing in the background there. You got a brother or a sister or was that maybe a TV? KI7ZAO. Okay, now I'm getting confused. KI7ZAO, I just heard. That's not Jacob or uh, Jason's call. So who's KI7ZAO? KI7ZAO, Brandy, Jason's wife. How are you? Oh, it was KI7ZAO laughing in the background. Okay, gotcha. Your Christmas. My Christmas was pretty good. We went to uh, Murphy, Idaho, and then we came back here and over to Coos Bay and up to uh, Fort Stevens, Oregon, which is as far as north as you can get in the state of Oregon. Fun. It was a lot of fun for us, but our kitty cat wasn't real happy. He's not used to traveling in the trailer, and he didn't like traveling in the car. I had, had some clicks there, but uh, no audio. So try that again. 7 operating third party. Alrighty, we got another eggnogger, KI7ZAO, operating third party, and what is your name? JJ. A whole bunch of J's in your family, Jacob and JJ and Jason, and wow, lots of you. So, welcome to Aegon, and to Eggnog, JJ, and uh, I'm guessing you did, you went, uh, did the same thing that Jacob did. I'm pretty sure you said yes, but hold the button a little bit longer before you talk. You've been on the, on the radio before as well, haven't you? You want to know how old I am? I know where you are. You're at the radio talking to me. You said, do you know how old I am? Oh, well, I thought you said, do I know where you are? No, I do not know how old you are, JJ. How old are you? Awesome, I got you down in the logbook. 
And when was when do you plan to have your technician's license to run the radio on your own? Really cool. Oh, there's a couple of gals out there. There's one over in Mountain Home, Idaho. She's nine years old and she's an amateur extra, so you got your work cut out for you. Did we double or did your radio break? Have some little girls that want to say hi to. They're just coming up here. Uh, KI seven Z A O still. This is K seven Z A O operating third party. My name is Grace. And I'm six. Alrighty, that was a really good job there, Grace. I got all of that. So welcome to Eggnog and uh what's going on? I want some eggnog. Oh, that's just what we call this part of the net. We don't actually have any eggnog. All right. Did we have another one there, or are you done, Grace? Thanks, I'm in ZAO, operating third party, and now this is Haley. I am 10 years old. All right. Uh, you're 10 years old. You're operating third party. And did you say Haley? So push the button for one to two seconds, and was your name, before you talk, and was the name Haley or Kaylee? It was Haley. Uh, okay, uh, that's what I thought you said, but I wanted to make sure, so I had you down here in the logbook properly. So you're 10 years old, and is this your first time on the radio? No. Uh, I think you said no, but we got to work on that part a little bit. you got to stay on the button a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure you said no. Anyway, are you having fun using the radio? Yes. Oh, my YL, that's me, my girlfriend, she said I have to ask you a question that you can't answer yes or no, and I'm trying to think of what one of those would be. So, what was the best thing you got for Christmas? Um, my new purse. Oh, you are going to make an excellent wife someday, your new purse. So, how big was it, and how much does it weigh now? Very big, but it's red. Okay, so it's red, not very big, so it's big enough for a bunch of credit cards, I'll bet. Yeah, and some crayons. Right, and some crayons, which in about, oh, five years will turn into lipstick tubes. I have a question. Bye, Haley. I think it's Steve has a question. Do you have fingernail polish that matches the first? Ah, that's a good question, Steve. But she said she had crayons in there. The fingernail polish will come when the crayons turn into lipstick. But we'll ask Kaylee, do you have fingernail polish that matches your purse? Because I guess that's a criteria for all the girls. Yeah. My YL is laughing and smiling and helping out here. She's like, ah, I knew that. So good question, Steve. So, all righty. What else did you get for Christmas, Haley? I'm not sure. Was it paint? Uh, paints? Yeah. Acrylics or watercolors? And was it like a paint by number kit or uh, paint brushes and paint that you start from scratch and make your own paintings? I got paint brushes, paint, and canvases. Cool deal. So you're going to become an artist. Yeah, and a dancer. Dancer and an artist. Wow. Well. That should do you well. And you got a red purse, so let's see. I don't know. Yeah, my girlfriend says you're growing up too fast. If you've got a red purse and you've already decided you're going to be a dancer and an artist, enjoy being a little girl for a while. This is Jacob again. All right, what you got, Jacob? Yeah, um... My mom wants me to tell you what my favorite thing that I got from Christmas was, and that was a wallet. Oh, okay, so I think your mom was probably laughing, too. But that's awesome, because I always have this conversation with my YL, and that's about how she's got an entire bag full of stuff, and I have this little wallet. And we can fit everything we need into that wallet, can't we, Jacob? And it's Lego. 
And it's Lego, L-E-G-O. They make wallets. So you have a Lego wallet. Is it made out of Lego, Jacob, or is it just got the Lego name on it? It's not built out of Legos. It just looks like a, like a whole bunch of Lego books pointed out. Okay, I see. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, do you have crayons in there? You got to hold it down a little bit longer and then say your answer and then let it up. So I'm guessing there's no crayons in there, and I'm betting there's no nail polish either. Nope. And I'll bet your mother was laughing while we were talking to Haley about her purse and what was in it. And the only thing that was in my wallet is money. Oh, well, when you get to be about 15, yeah, probably a little more than 15, once you figure out, and we're not going to go there because maybe mom and dad don't want you to do that lesson yet. So <laughs> just make sure that money stays in there, Jacob. And my mom says, ha, ha, funny. So just hold on, Jacob. My YL is trying to give me a lesson here. Okay, so she was saying that I can't hold everything I need in my wallet because when I need a pen, I pull it out of my pocket. And something about when I need a crayon, I ask her to pull it out of her purse. But I don't do that because I don't like her colors of crayons. So. <laughs> anyway, you've got my girlfriend laughing, Jacob. Funny. Alrighty, so we got the whole crowd, four of you there. Is there anybody else that hasn't gotten on the air third party yet? It sounds like you're having a whole whole gaggle there. This is KI7ZAO operating third party. My name is Anthony and I'm 14. Anthony and you're 14 and I didn't expect another one, but we'll take it. Are you laughing as hard as uh, my guy L and I are laughing and apparently uh, KI7ZAO is laughing and having a good time? Yeah, pretty much. And I'll bet you have a wallet, and have you learned how to keep the money in the wallet? Yes, I have. So you don't have a girlfriend. That's a good thing. Your money will stay in your wallet that way. I was going to say, it certainly ain't by having kids, because uh, I ain't got no money. But i got plenty of kids here to keep passing the mic around, too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Uh, that's the other lesson, but I, I'm not going to teach them that lesson. That's up to you there, Jacob. All right, Jacob. Jason, show, show Anthony how empty your wallet is and see how much is in his. And he might have more in his because he doesn't have an entire softball, two-thirds of a softball team. There's eight of us in the car driving to California. Uh, eight in a car? Not in one of the trucks. In a car? Or was it one of the trucks? There's ten if you count uh, the, my mom and dad. And we're in uh, a 15 passenger van. You're in it now, or you were on the trip? Now, because we're still heading down to California. I did not catch that part earlier. Oh, boy. So you got a whole party going on as you're driving down the road. And you're killing time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is all I got so far. So there must be one more coming. There's three more because there's uh, three of my brothers, Zach, Timmy, and Cameron. Alrighty, so it, that sounds like a lot of fun, uh, and a whole lot better than what I was envisioning all stuffed into a car. 15 passenger van is a whole lot, whole lot better trip, I'm sure. I hope you're recording this, Chris. Oh, Steve, I am not. I almost broke it out. So back to Anthony. Okay, I Anthony, are you guys, are you there? And I'm calling. Sure, but you're breaking up. Uh, let's try her again, see if you're there, Anthony. We're just passing your neck of the woods, uh, rolling out of town. Uh, I'm on King Mountain. He just has a hard time holding the uh, mic down. Okay, well, then you got Roxy uh, here in Medford. Is, uh, as you're heading up the hill, that'll work. Wairika is the next one. You'll be able to listen to us for a while. This is Cat Evan Zayo, operating here part. My name is Zach, and I'm 12. Zach and 12, and how about we come back to you, 
uh, and you hand the mic off, we'll get all three of you in here, the, the last three of you, and we'll start back with you, and we can have a discussion. And that way, if we do lose you, we got all of you on the logbook, and then we'll come back to you after the, the third brother gets on there. I'm envisioning trying to pass a radio around inside of 15,000 Javan and figuring out who hasn't talked yet and where they're sitting in the dark driving down the freeway. <laughs> oh, we're waiting, and uh, Zach hopefully is passing it on to one of the two remainings, and then we'll get back to Zach. So hopefully they've got that sorted out, and I'm going to let off the key and see if that's the case. Waiting with bated breath for the last two brothers to check in. Bruce, I just had to grab one of my HTs and send it to the back of the van. The uh, mic doesn't reach that far back when it's, you know, dash-mounted mobile. All righty, Jason. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to hit King Mountain with a handy, but you should be able to hit uh, Roxy's. Oh, what do I say? This is KI7GAO operating third party. My name's Karen, and I'm 12. All righty, KI7ZAO, third party. I thought we thought we heard you say your name is Karen and Twelve. But, uh, thought we were waiting for two brothers. They're claiming seats. Ah, yeah, the, the, the changing seats without taking the seat belt off is an awesome trick. This is KI7 ITJ operating third party. Uh, this is Timmy, fourteen. Gotcha, Jimmy, 14. Now, how difficult, Jimmy, is it to get the radio back to Zach, and we'll then, then we'll come down the list now we've got you all on, uh, or is there another person in there that's third party? Um, it's Zach again. All right, Zach, so we did all the musical radio, and we're back to you. So, uh, you all heading down to California. Are you having fun so far? And I'm trying to remember where Jason's from. I, it's the area here, local, but um, if you're just now rolling through, did you get a late start, or uh, where did this vehicle depart from, and when? We just got on the freeway, and we're, we're heading to Shingle Springs. Okay, well, that's not too far of a drive. It, it could be worse. You could be headed to L.A. as a long drive, but uh, just got on the road. So well, lots of fun so far, I'm hoping, and uh, lots of radios apparently in the vehicle. Jacob again, and um, we have Ron to the call. Okay, so Jacob, and I didn't understand what you said. So, Jacob, come on back and say that again. One mobile and three handhelds. Alrighty, well, you're, you're a little short on handhelds there. I think with that many people in there, you should all have one handheld, but that's better than most people driving down the road. You're about six radios short. You need to tell Jason that. Show on license to operate. That's true, but you can listen all you want. So he's still six short, but that was tell him that was a good try. I have a question. We've got a question, so everybody stand by. Steve, I think it is again with the question. I game with my uh, niece and nephew. You guys play any board games, card games? Oh my god, my niece just brought me over one called Exploding Kittens. You guys ever heard that one? Alrighty, so that's a question for any of you guys and that are third party with KI7IJ or KI7ZAO. So, have you heard of Exploding Kittens as a board game? Jacob and we love that game. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew there was a connection here. All right. Steve, why don't you take over for a minute? <laughs> I've never heard of this game, so why don't you talk to Jacob there and enlighten the rest of us listeners as to what in the world is a board game called Exploding Kittens about? Well, the theory is not to get one in your hand, and if you do, you have to have a, basically a trump card to get rid of it. But, um, no, I just, uh, my niece brought it over to me last week, and we played it for the first time, and I was like, wow. Okay, um, and I think Jacob over there, is that correct? Jacob's the one that said they love the game, 
So go ahead, Jacob and, and Steve are talking here. Hello, Jacob. It's been a while. How about like uh, we do Small World and all that? Are are you a gamer, like a board gamer, or are you on the internet? I like playing board games. Okay. Well, every weekend we do something here Sunday. So the exploding kittens. What's the do? One of them like. Oh, and they're telling me everybody knows about this, and I'm like, I've never heard about it, but apparently you do. My mom says it's kind of a newish game. Pretty much brand new. I mean, got lots of board games, because that's what we do here. You know, if your mom and your dad are floating around in the uh, old Central Valley, you're more than welcome to come here and play games. I seem to see though. Slow down a bit. <laughs> Let's go and ask Jason there. Okay, because I know Jason's got a mobile in front of him. So, Jason, do you got any more surprise uh, guests for us, uh, eggnoggers? Oh, I think they're just zoning out into their own things, trying to, you know, crash for the, for the ride. So, did we get everybody? We got Jacob, JJ, Grace, Haley, Anthony, Zach, Karen, and Jimmy, did I get all those names right, too? You got them all, except that that Jimmy was a, a Timmy with a T. Timmy with a T, and I did not get Jacob's age. Jeff is 10. So we got 10, 7, 6, 10, 14, 12, 12. So I'm just curious. Is this one of those mine, hers, and ours things? He says, no, it just took two wives at a time to get them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I now understand, Jason, why uh, you said that uh, there's no money in your wallet. Uh, that's a whole, that's an entire, uh, my God, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have an entire baseball team and coach in one vehicle. And, yeah, there's a reason your wallet's empty. It's definitely uh, yours and mine, but no hours. And there's actually nine, but one of them isn't on the uh, adventure with us tonight. Baseball team, a general manager, and a coach. Well, I tell you what, I hope it's been a blast. I, I wish I had my recorder running tonight, and that was a nice surprise. And I hope you guys have a very safe, uneventful, but fun trip. <laughs> 